If you feed them, they will come. If you feed them, they will come. They synthesize vitamins. They educate the immune system. They regulate appetite and body weight. Who are they? They're your microbiome, the hundred trillion microbes that inhabit your body. But our highly processed diets are starving our microbes. Want to know how diet changes the microbiome? Let's science it. Hey, welcome to Nourishable. I'm Dr. Lara. Everyone needs to eat. Your mom, your dog, and even the microbes that live in your gut. Those microbes are feasting on what you, the human, can't digest. Basically, your leftovers that make it all the way down to the colon. If you feed them, they will come. Eating a big bowl of veggies delivers a lot of fiber leftovers to your gut, nourishing many kinds of good microbes. When those good microbes digest fiber, they poop out chemicals that are super beneficial for you. This micro poop is used as energy by the intestinal cells and helps keep the intestinal lining strong. If you feed them, they will come and they'll poop. Because everyone poops. Ironically, if you swap that colorful bowl for a beige plate of chicken fingers and fries, you'll get a meal that actually can be completely digested by the human, leaving no leftovers for your gut microbes. Those fiber-loving good microbes die off, and a few thrifty bad microbes take over. Those bad microbes make bad micro poop that can spread inflammation throughout your body. Down the line, this can lead to chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And that's a really poopy situation. So let's say you've been eating beige food for a while and you have a bunch of bad microbes in your gut. How quickly can you turn your microbiome around? Pretty quickly, according to a mouse study. Mice were fed either a high-fat, high-sugar diet, like mousy mac and cheese with cupcakes, or a low-fat, high-fiber diet, like salads. The two diets cause really different microbes to flourish in the gut. How can we know gut microbes have changed? Poop. Yeah, like the emoji. Scientists analyze microbes in mouse poop because playing with mouse poop is 40% of what being a scientist is all about. Then they alternated the mousy diets. Mac and cheese for three days, salad for three days. Back and forth and back and forth. The gut microbes rapidly changed in a single day on the new diet. They also tested the mousy combo meal, varying the proportions of mac and cheese and salad. The more mac and cheese on the plate, the more mac and cheese loving microbes in the gut. So what does this mean for us? This study shows that changing your diet rapidly changes the microbes in your gut. And there's a dose response. The more salad you eat, the more salad-loving microbes you'll get. If you feed them a little bit, they will come. But mice aren't humans. Does the same thing happen to us? Yep, it does. And here's a study that shows it. 10 volunteers alternated between a completely plant-based diet for five days and a completely animal-based diet for five days. Give me all the bacon that you have. Wait, I think you heard give me a lot of bacon. Give me all the bacon that you have. Scientists found that gut microbes changed after one day on the diet. There was more good micro poop on the plant-based diet and more bad micro poop with the charcuterie. They also found higher levels of a rather nasty microbe called Bilophila wadsworthia during the animal-based diet. Let's call them wads for short. WADS has been shown to drive inflammatory bowel disease in mice, which is also associated with a high-fat Western diet in people. If you feed them only bacon, they will come and make you sick. But these diets have been pretty extreme. Does the science say that we all have to go vegan? No, not necessarily. What does seem to be important is eating lots of diverse plants. People from all over the U.S. sent poop samples to have their gut microbes analyzed by the American Gut Project. Whew, I feel sorry for the person who has to open up that mail. The researchers predicted that dietary style would determine the kinds of microbes in the gut. But the science surprised them. Didn't matter if you were omnivore, vegan, pescatarian, or spaghetti monster pastafarian, what mattered was the diversity of plants. People who reported eating 30 or more different kinds of plants per week had different microbes than those who reported eating 10 or fewer. If you feed them many kinds of plants, they will come. Science has shown us that changing diet rapidly changes the microbes living in our gut. And these microbes play important roles in our health. Eating many kinds of plants delivers healthy leftovers to nourish good microbes. And in turn, these microbes generate good micro poop. What do we do with this information? Here are my three nourishable tips. Diet changes microbes quickly, so aim for all meals to have some minimally processed plants every day. 
Since dose response matters, give plant-based food a starring role while using animal products as a garnish. Diversity is key too, so take stock of how many different plants you eat, then introduce some new fruits and veggies into your repertoire. It can be fun to try out new recipes and get seasonal with it. If you feed them, they will come. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. Subscribe and click that bell for new video alerts, and check out my video description for all my references.